Hey, Maple People, how's it going? On today's video, we are going to be showing you the Wingspan nesting box. We have everything for Wingspan, and we had, you know, all these, how are we going to fit it in this box? I think we got it down to three boxes, but still, that's one too many boxes just for one two game. Too two too many boxes for um, just one game. But then uh, Stonemaier came out with the nesting box and it is a colossal thing. Let's go ahead and show you. Look at this. I had to be standing up for this. It's massive. A lot of money for just a box and organization. <gasps> oh my, just all the wingspan. Balls from above. But yeah, so we're gonna get all of this into the Oceana that. expansion is in here as well. It's just I did manage to shove it into some of these boxes. Yeah, so we still have, you know, one of the expansions shoved into one of these boxes. But yeah, we're going to shove all these boxes Should we take into a look this box. At sure. the nesting box. Let's go ahead and Sarah's going to pop the top. So right away, one of the things that I like about it is that it has the beautiful like watercolor color scheme and there are birds all over. And I did take a sneak peek on the inside and I don't know, is there a bird on the bottom? There's, yeah, there's even a bird on the, the bottom. The bald eagle! <laughs> I took a peek inside and it looks like they carried that that bird theming and the art through the whole box. Uh -huh. oh, so it tells you how to put everything inside, which is gonna be whoa. really helpful because there's a lot of content for this game, and right now we kind of do have it jumbled up everywhere. Um, it looks like they have, they've given us a new birdhouse. I'm not exactly sure why, because we do already have one, but we'll see if this one's maybe any different. It does look like it might be a little different. Maybe it fits in this box better. Plus um, the dividers for all of the different expansions. Um, and th it actually has, right now, um, they have come out with, One's for the on the uh, Autonoma. Um, the, we have the Asia. We have North America, I think. We have Europe and Oceania. And that's it. So the rest of these are for ones that they plan to come out with in the future. Um, and this box is meant to contain all the content that they will ever release for the game, according to the publisher which is nice because it would suck to get a storage solution and then end up having even more content that doesn't fit in there so like i said they continued the bird theming throughout the box so there's cute little birds they've got these nice lift out handles here okay so it's not just a box well it is just a box but it's got other it's... stuff going on it's cool um i'm not exactly sure what these are for but maybe for resources or something right now we have all of our resources in like dollar store containers but we'll figure out what we can put in these it looks like they have a big jumbo card holder for all the cards and then again i don't know exactly what's supposed to go where but i'm sure we'll figure it out oh look it's another bird it is another bird a pretty little bird there's one here, and then there's also one right here on the side. I love the coloring that they've chosen here. All these sort of like pastels are really pretty. Okay, and it's then- It's another couple of birds. Yeah, it's a couple more birds. And this is cardboard. I don't know if this is meant to stay in there or if we can take that out if it was just holding this piece up, but when we put things in there, it's meant to come out or not. I have to kind of sit down and figure out what goes where. But like Nick was saying, we do have all the content for the game. We've got um, Asia and Europe and Oceana and um, the Oceana box I did already get rid of, but um, it's all contained in these three boxes right here. And we could not squish it any further than that. Um, so we said, well, we have all the content for the game. It's not stored well. We had some store credit so we when we saw it at our local game store. So we've been contemplating getting this for a while. I think it was a good plan. Um, and now we just have to figure out how to get everything inside. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Real and quick. I don't think it's gonna be real well, quick. for all our viewers, it's gonna be real quick. It's gonna be a flash of a couple B rolls, and then it's gonna be all in there. And then we'll tell you how grueling it was, and how long it took, and how many hours. And this There's thing. There's a little guide on the front of the box lid here. There is this guide, so hopefully, this will make it, you know, so that we can sort of figure out how to do things quickly. I guess we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put all of our existing current content into this box here, and we'll get back to you guys in a second and talk to you about, or talk to you and show you about uh, what it looks like and what we think of it. So yeah, see you in a sec. Hey, people, people, we're back. And with taking things out of the box, in the box, scouring BGG for answers, pictures on BGG for answers, and pictures, pictures, and also pictures on Reddit to get the best, most optimal way to pack things in the wingspan nesting box. Uh, Sarah, mostly, I was like taking B-roll and stuff and helping out here and there, being the uh, ever helping assistant. And so this is what we came up with with our packing of this. Dun, 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 dun. This is the... So this is the bottom. And in the bottom, we have two of the card trays from, like, I think this is the base game, and then, like, maybe that's Oceana or something like that. They're completely empty, and there's nothing else in the bottom of the box, which is fine with me for now. Um, there's supposed to be more content coming for the game, and if we do acquire that, then it'll be nice to have some extra space. So for now, the bottom layer of the box is pretty much just empty your extra storage. The next layer of the box is this one right here, and this is where we put the majority of the stuff. So there's another card tray, and it's a little bigger, uh, like a little deeper than the other two, but it's also completely empty right now. Um, so this, you can use these um, while you're playing the game. Um, so they're useful, and I think probably based on the amount of space we have for the cards, we are probably going to eventually need to store cards in this one or maybe these, just based on the number of expansions that are planned for the game and how much space is left in what sort of like the card row. I think we're probably gonna need to actually store cards in these eventually. Um, but for now, they're empty. So we've got that one. I would put this one like in there as well, but it's actually a little deeper than those and it sticks out just a little too far. Um, and there's a spot for it right here. So we're gonna put it right there. Um, the only thing that I wish about that was that they gave us an extra dice tray. Um, and I would have loved to store both in here, which I could have done. I could have put one here perfectly, pretty much, if this one would have fit in the bottom, like right there. But it's just a little too deep for that. Um, so this one is going to go here for now. And we're just going to display the extra dice tower. The, it wasn't, you don't need two. Um, the, the replacement that came with the nesting box was just meant to be a replacement because um, if this was worn out, if you've played a lot and your original dice tower was worn out, then it was just meant to be like a replacement. Um, and to my knowledge, I don't even know that they advertised that that was in there. It was just like a bonus extra. Um, so you don't need to, but if you're playing with a large group of people, it might be nice to have two. So we will keep the extra one and we'll just put it on the shelf in the, in the board game room with some of our other dice towers. Um, so this card tray was here. Underneath this card tray, we have a tray that has 
all the dice for the base game and for the one of the expansions. I don't remember which expansion this is. Plus it has all the um, objective squares and all of the player colors, including the black and white. I've got these extra little bits here, but they've got the black and white um, player pieces from Asia in here as well. And then the two um, first player tokens are, there's a little cutout here, just perfectly for those. And that all snaps nicely together. And I actually like shook it and like moved it around and like nothing moves. It's beautiful. So, I mean, hopefully this won't be flying around in the back of my car like that pizza box from that commercial from the 90s. But, you know, still it's nice to know that even if that is happening, the bits inside won't be moving around. Um, after that, we have three. These are pretty much identical trays. Um, there are all the food resources in the game, plus um, the eggs. And we do have some BGG upgrades for this. We need um, a little bit more to, to have like the numbers we're supposed to have, but um, we do have, and we don't have any of the nectar upgrades. So that's something we'll have to put on our, our list of things to eventually acquire. But um, it's nice to have the three different trays with all the resources in there because then you can station these around the table and people can reach, you know, no matter how many people you're playing with. So three trays of resources and eggs. And then over here, we have pretty much all the cards that we currently have for the game, that currently exist for the game. Um, I started with the bonus cards up here. You need the bonus cards for every game. Um, and then I started with the um, bird cards in alphabetical order. Um, we currently only have Asia, Europe, North America, and Oceania. Um, and then I put the Onatama cards in the back, back here. And then all the extra um, dividers for the um, expansions that haven't come out yet are in alphabetical order in the back of the box over here. Um, so I put all the cards over here. They did have in the, the recommended like layout of the box. They did have it recommended that you put some of the cards over here, but I like having them all together. So instead of putting cards over here, we ended up putting um, the duet tokens from Wingspan over here in two little boxes. Um, there was not a designated space for those, so I just kind of made one. Um, over here we have all the score pads from all the different games. We have the dice tower with some extra dice in here. Um, like I said, there was room in this storage container for all of the dice, um, but there is like an extra set of dice, which you can use if you're playing with like the six, seven player count, I think. Um, I frankly, I don't think we will ever play with that many people. Um, Sad. <laughs> maybe someday, um, but even if you do, I don't think you really need those extra dice. I think they just could come in handy. Um, but I don't really like to throw things away that might become useful later, um, especially with games, because it's not like it's easy to get the item back if you do toss it. So we did talk about um, tossing the old dice tower now that there's a new one. But if you play with more people, it might be nice to have an extra one. So for now, we'll hang on to the extra dice tower and the extra dice. And I just tossed those extra dice directly into the dice tower um, over here. I also stored some of these little reference. Well, this is um, this is from one of the expansions. I think you also use this with the five, six player or sorry, the uh, six, seven player count. And then we also stored these little reference end of round reference cards that are from um, some of the games. So I just tucked these into the side right over here, just like that with the circular buddy. And then we put the dice tower in there, maybe. Talk about that sun. Uh, okay. There we go. And then all of the score pads on top. And then this goes into this here. So we're just actually going to like pick this up and drop it in there. I'll do that in a second. Um, it is a little hard for fingerless me 
to remove this section and I wanted to talk about one more thing in here. So I'm gonna leave that aside for now and then I'll put, put it all together before we end the video so you can see how nicely it nests together, no pun intended. And then finally we have the tray um, and it has these cool finger loops that you can use to like lower it and pick it up. Um, and in the tray we put all of the player boards um, including the ones from, uh, I think this is Oceana. So we put all the player boards in here and then I put a bunch of other random sort of like um, board type stuff in here. Um, and we have a, an upgraded like um, tracker board and then this is a board from one of the expansions. And then there's all the like literature for the game. And um, Jamie Stegmeier, who is the publisher and Maybe the designer? No. No, it's... not the designer. He's just the Elizabeth publisher. Hargrave. That's right. Elizabeth Hargrave's the designer. He is the publisher of Wingspan. He said that with um, the Asia rule book, you could get rid of the base game rule book and the European expansion rule book as well, because everything from those rule books is in this rule book. And he said almost everything from the Oceana rule book is also in here as well, but there's a little bit of detailed information about the nectar tokens, which is not in this rule book. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one too. And then I've also kept the updated appendix and the Anatama, um, like, rules um i don't i frankly i don't know if you actually need all three of these but he all he did specify that this replaces the core rule books um so that makes me think that potentially the anatama you need all three of the rule books for the anatama based on the expansions that you're going to play and then there's like some other random literature in here um i would love it if when they are finished with all the expansion content that they intend to create for this game if maybe they would come out with one rule book that has like everything ever in it and all the appendix like put together and maybe like one anatama rule book that would be really really cool but i know they have some content planned that hasn't been produced yet so i don't want them to do that yet because obviously they won't be able to include everything and then we'll be right back in this situation in a few more years so maybe at the end of this when they've published all the content that they plan to publish for it it would be really cool if we could get a consolidated rule book but until then i'm okay with a few of these especially because it does sound like he was trying to get it down to as few books as possible by publishing this one with all the information from the previous ones and then so this just like nests on top of this on top of that and then the whole thing fits together beautifully so i wanted to mention a couple things and then we'll show you how it all nests together one is we were able to we had used our own sort of storage in the boxes that we were um that we were storing this in initially so because of like all of the trays and everything that are in here we were able to remove all of this from our copy of the game um, and like I said, we're going to put this on the bookshelf and then look at all this stuff that we're able to throw away now. We can throw away all of these boxes and there's some like rule books and bags in here. We can get rid of all of this and just have the one giant box instead of, you know, three small-ish boxes. So we will nest all this together so you can see how it all fits together in the box. Before we do that, I did want to point out one thing and it's in the bottom of this box right over here. Um, they have used this cardboard so that the next level of the nesting box fits directly on top of this. So this sort of holds up this level of the box. Um, so that you can put things in the middle, or I'm sorry, on the bottom here. Um, I love that. It was very clever, especially because when you go to pick this up, just enough of it sticks up over here that you can kind of get a hold on it and pick it straight up. And that would not be the case if this were not in there. So I like that they did this. However, with the production of the rest of the box um, being the way that it is, I don't know why they decided to make this this sort of like cardboard where this is more like, I mean, this is cardboard too, but I don't know 
what the words are for it. This is like card stock cardboard. That's not exactly what it is, but I don't know what to call it. This is like, you know, like almost like a, like a shipping box, like you'd get from Amazon kind of thing. That's, Let's see, it's like this, it's like this cardboard like that. And with the thoughtfulness that they put into the rest of the way that this is designed, I would have really liked to see this box made out of the same material as this, um, just because this is so pretty and clearly meant to be like a long-term thing. And then this just feels sort of like cheap and a little bit, you know, single use compared to like the rest of this. So it would have been nice, in my opinion, if they would have made this bottom part of the insert out of the same material as the rest of this right here. Especially because, I mean, they printed the bird on it and everything. It looks so pretty and it's useful. Like I said, it keeps the next layer up where it needs to be. Um, I just wish it was made out of the same material as the rest of the box. But anyway, um, so these, we're gonna put these empty card trays in here on the bottom. Then we're gonna put this middle section next. And it's gonna slip in there, it's so pretty. And then finally, we're gonna put this top part on. This whole thing is gonna weigh more than me by the time we're finished. Hmm. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And then finally, let me get the right direction going here. So we get all the birds put together all pretty when it's done. Nick, would you like to talk about this? Sure. I mean, pretty much everything Sarah has said is what I agree with. There were some things that were a little bit of a hiccup, like the, um, what, companion? The duet tokens? Duet tokens. The duet tokens were kind of like, eh, that's, that's a shame, but I mean, it is what it is. We got it in the box. We got rid of like three, four boxes. Uh, and we're able to put it in one giant box. Yes, this will be very heavy, and I'll be like, come over to our house for game night if you want to play Wingspan. Okay, look it's, at that. It's not, it's not too bad. I mean, I feel like you could do a workout with this, but it's it's manageable. Okay, all right, all right. So if there's, you know, board game fitness, get wing everything for Wingspan, then get the nesting box, then just do a couple squats with it, and you'll be good to go. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a a good solution uh, for all the wingspan content to have it in one box. And um, it's a little discouraging to know when you buy other expansions that you're immediately gonna be getting rid of the box that you will be acquiring. So, I mean. But I like that they were thoughtful about making this a lifetime product. There are a few games that have come out with storage solutions like this, and then they've come out with more product, which is exciting, but it's a little frustrating too, because you're like, okay, well, I bought this big storage solution for this, and now things still don't fit in there. So it's nice, in my opinion, yes, this is big, um, storage solutions for games like this usually are, but I think that it's really nice that they considered the full life cycle of this product when they were making this, because it means that in the future, we're not going to run out of room in here or we're not going to be like, oh, I'm sad we spent money on the nesting box because it's not big enough to hold everything that's, you know, come out for the game since then. It's not going to be like that. They, hopefully, they, you know, really were considerate about the whole life of this product um, when they were creating the nesting box. So everything should fit in this box when they're completely finished making expansions and stuff like that for Wingspan. And I, I appreciate that. Um, I also think it is big, but we have other games that are almost just as big. We have like the Mystic Veil um, Conclave. It's pretty big, it's pretty heavy. It's not quite this big, but it's still pretty big. It's still pretty heavy. We have um, like the huge version of um, Castles of Magging Ludwig, the deluxe edition of that. It's also a pretty hefty box. Um, we've got a couple of games that 
just come in like really big boxes. We have the storage solution for Isle of Cats. That's a really big, heavy box. So I think we're at the point with board games where there's so much content for them and people are creating storage solutions that this isn't necessarily unique in the fact that it's just like a big, heavy box full of a game, you know? Um, I think it's really pretty. I think that they did a beautiful job with the artwork, all the birds on the different sides of the box and even throughout the interior of the box, like I was pointing out earlier, having like the the birds printed on the trays and like along the side of the box and things like that. I think that just shows an extra touch of um, intentionality and an extra touch of thoughtfulness that really makes it um, a little bit more, it adds a little value in my opinion. Um, I think like Nick was saying, there are a few things about it that were just a little bit um, surprising or maybe a little bit less um, than ideal at first, like not having any particular place to put those duet tokens. That to me seems really bizarre because they thought out so many other things um, that it was like, well, why didn't you think about this thing um, when you thought about almost everything else? Um, and there were just a few little things like that. Um, but for the most part, I'm happy with the way that everything is in the box and everything is in the one single box. Um, that's really nice. We can, now we can get rid of all these other boxes and it will take approximately the same amount of room on the shelf, but it'll look neater. And I think it will be easier to play because everything is now organized and all in one place instead of having to like look through different boxes to find different things and stuff like that. So all in, I think it was a little expensive for what it is, but I think that it solved a problem we were having um, for a game that we will probably keep for a very, very long time. Um, so I think I'm happy with it. Agreed. There is one thing that sort of lurks in the back of my mind when I think about these types of boxes. I heard this term within the last year or so this type of box, this sort of storage solution, um, has been coined a board game coffin. And that's because the game gets so big, has so much content for it, that it becomes very um, difficult to pick this up, to move it around. Like, obviously, if we're going to take a game to game night, I'm going to think twice before I take this particular game. Just because it's now it's huge, it's super heavy, it's going to take a bit to lug this around, right? Um, and people started coining the, the term board game coffin to reference these big sort of storage solutions because this is where the game goes to die. Once it's in this big, huge box, you never pull it out again because it's just too much effort. Now, I don't personally think that that's exactly accurate for me. Like I said, we have a, a few other like games that are in big, huge storage solutions like this. And if I like the game well enough, I still go through the effort to take it off the shelf, to play it, even sometimes to take it with me to a convention or a game night or something like that, if I like the game well enough. So I think that board game coffin is a really apt term or it could be a really apt term. It's kind of a depressing term for me because I love board games that I don't want them to go somewhere and die. But I do understand, um, you know, the mentality behind like, okay, we have everything ever for this game. Now we're never going to touch it again because it's just too much effort, too much effort to get it off the shelf, too much effort to figure out what you need to play with. You know, which part of this expansion do you need if you're going to play this number of players? What do you need this extra thing? What is this? What's that? You know, that kind of thing. I get it, but it does make me sad. And I hope that um, with some of our other games that we have big storage solutions for, you know, we continue to play those. So I hope that that remains true of Wingspan. And I actually think that it will probably see more play now because like I said, everything is organized and I don't have to sort through like three different boxes looking for a particular component or, you know, something like that. So, yeah. You're right. Ditto on all that. Um, but yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope for those that eventually get or have this box that they saw something, maybe they could do something different. Uh, I hope that, like I said, if people that get this box in the future see this, that this can be one more helpful thing that you can go ahead and pack your box up. So, because I know we were looking at some stuff like, okay, how do they do this? How do they do that? Oh, I like what this person did instead of this person or the recommended way because it gets 
more space out of it as of right now without all the other content coming out. But yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. Hope it was interesting and hope your eyes bugged out a little bit the size of the box and uh, thought it could be really cool to have or games like that. So yeah, uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and play some games now and we hope you all are playing games and until next time, we'll see y'all later. Toodles!